Welcome everybody. Welcome back to the late night cooking bachelor. We got a great dish for you. It is quite late, but I got a really good dish tonight. It's going to be a simple dish. Uh, it will require quite a few uh, great vegetables that you're going to see uh, we're going to prepare tonight. So you can see over on our cooking table, we have some green onions, and some cilantro. We're going to actually make a little guacamole as well while we're at it. Got some fresh, fresh picked tomatoes out of my garden. And we got some uh, red onions and some lemon. So we're, we're going to prepare all of this and then we're gonna bring it on home. I think you're gonna really enjoy it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and get started on the prep. I won't bore you with that. And then once I get all that ready, then I'm gonna come on back and we're gonna knock it out. guacamole for tonight. We're going to start out. Uh, we're going to go back over to our board so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm working with over here. Uh, basically, you know, I've already started out. I've, I've, I've chopped up the, I've chopped up the uh, avocados and I've folded in some nice red, red uh, onions and some nice white onions. You can see here are brown onions, as you can see there. And I'm folding that in. And so we're, we're on our way to our guacamole. Now, normally, um, you know, I'll add some additional ingredients, but I'm gonna do something a little different tonight, only because I have some folks that don't eat tomatoes and so on, which we normally will add some tomatoes. So this is gonna be a, a tomato-less uh, recipe. In addition, you can see I'm going to add some lemon. To the mix, we're gonna squeeze some good old lemon in there. Mm, it's gonna be good. We're gonna mix that up. Gonna put some red pepper, I mean some black pepper. And you can be generous on the black pepper, it's not a problem. <coughs> and now, now we're ready to uh get into really pulling it together. So we're gonna add, we're gonna add a little, little sea salt, not a lot, just for flavoring. Give it a little taste, mix that up. And as we do that, now the, the real catch, the real catch of this is We're gonna use a little pepper, I mean a um, hot sauce. This is some really good hot sauce that I tried the other night. I really like it. And if you have any questions about it, you can always reach me on my uh, blog, or of course you can send me uh, an email through YouTube or at The Cooking Bachelor, and I will tell you where you can get it. It's a really good hot sauce. So now, in addition to that, this is what I, I find to, to really set it off. And, and you know, most people never think about it. But as you saw earlier, I got a little olive oil. Not too much. And what you see in there now 
is just a little onion. I mean, a little garlic. So the garlic, we don't really want to cook the garlic. We just want to let those aromas, just let the aroma go up. Mmm, take a big whiff. Mmm, yeah. You can smell that garlic. And we're just going to let it get hot. So it can release all that garlic smell. Look at that. Look at that little sizzle. That looks good. That looks great. Now that we got our garlic together, we're going to actually take, and we're going to put a little garlic with olive oil in our guac. Not all of it, just a little. And we're going to mix that up. Ah. Mmm, tastes good. Tastes very good. So, oh! We're going to add a little green onion to the mix. And a little cilantro. So as you see, we're gonna put some cilantro in there. We're gonna mix that in with those green onions. Can you get your face and mix it up. And we're ready to try it out. And normally I would add I would really add some tomatoes to this, Just add Just say but I'm not going to do that tonight because we're trying, this is going to be a virgin tomato guacamole. That's actually perfect. It's got a little hit from the um, hot sauce. There's not too much seasoning. And actually, the nice thing about this guacamole I just showed you is very low on salt. We use a lot of natural flavors. Um, and I'm going to pass this on to my, to my guests. But before I do that, i got to try one more time. Mm -hmm. It's a hit. So, simple way to make guacamole, you've seen it here tonight, it's not complicated for you cooking bachelors who want to try something different and really impress your dates. Get you some guacamole, I mean get you some avocados, cut them up, red, red onions, brown onions, green onions, and the key, remember, you got to put a little seasoning, black pepper and salt, pepper and so on, but the key is that olive oil cooked with just a slight bit of uh, garlic. Cook it, don't burn it, and put that in. And that's going to really give it the flavor um, that you really want. Not too heavy for late night. As you can see, it's quite late. But I know my guests are going to enjoy this, and they're going to eat probably half this tonight. And then you can put it in the refrigerator, let it cool down, and it's going to be just perfect, especially for tomorrow. And uh, and the next day. So until next time, see you then. Bye bye. What I'm going to do before I cut that, I'm going to take this wet, this wet uh, cloth, put it in my mouth. It was supposed to be. <laughs> it was supposed to be a trick <laughs> that it was gonna keep the onion from the the paper was supposed to keep you from crying. Or you stick the paper and it's wet in your mouth. This is nothing but a napkin. But as you can see, it didn't do very good. Uh, okay.
<laughs> All right, so now, now that it didn't do good, we're going to blow that off. But we did get through quite, quite a few money. Give it another shot. Believe it or not, that didn't work out. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. <laughs> Woo! I was trying to hold it back so you guys didn't really see that. Oh, man. <laughs> Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Go away. <laughs> 